STEM Ambassadors to improve diversity through STEM and EAL with STEM experts from our asylum seeker and refugee community in Glasgow. This project was supported by Education Scotland's Enhancing Professional Learning in STEM Grants programme through the Scottish Government's STEM Education and Training Strategy. The call went out for volunteers with STEM backgrounds from the asylum seeking and refugee community. Six STEM ambassadors from refugee and asylum seeking backgrounds volunteered to bring STEM subjects to life and demonstrate the value of STEM. They were supported by EAL PTs and EAL Leaders of Learning. STEM ambassadors were supported by project grant funding to cover transport costs for school visits. The STEM ambassadors included a psychologist, train engineer, pharmacist, civil engineer, mathematician and dentist. Then the call went out to schools, telling them about the STEM ambassador programme and asking if they would be interested in a visit. Many schools responded and STEM ambassadors presented to 12 primary and secondary schools across the city, ranging from P5 to senior phase learners. There were many thank yous to our STEM ambassadors on Twitter and directly and via feedback forms. Natalia said, science has no language barriers. STEM ambassadors were enthusiastic and focused on being positive role models as STEM professionals. There was lots of activity on Twitter during and after their visits. Shams gave an excellent presentation called What is Psychology? And the young people asked loads of questions such as what are the entry requirements to study psychology and can you do psychology as part of a medicine degree? Further feedback from young people included comments such as they were very good. I like how they came from different countries and had different backgrounds. One was from Ukraine and another from Iran. I would never have thought that math is used for basically every job you can imagine. The standard of the presentations was excellent and you could really see the pupils taking on board the information and more importantly, seeing the value of the ambassadors as role models for future generations. You can see their confidence and belief in their abilities growing by the minute as they seek to share their knowledge and expertise with the students. And to the students who seem entranced at the notion of someone who's not a teacher speaking a different language and telling them of their life achievements. It was particularly empowering to see the role of a woman delivering a presentation of this nature and I could see some of the girls really taking on board that they have the potential opportunities and here was an example of what can be achieved if they work and study hard. This STEM project and how well it has delivered for the asylum seekers in the city is a shining example of what can be done to improve integration and offer hope to so many individuals on so many different levels, young and old. And what's next? STEM and EAL case study of the project will be written up for the Glasgow City Council International Education website and the STEM and EAL project is to be nominated by QIO for the Inspiring Diversity in STEM Award as part of the SAMI Awards. Thank you. Thank you to our STEM ambassadors for being positive role models, giving their time and enthusiasm to inspire young people to consider a future career in STEM subjects.